Hello and welcome back to another Maxim's Motors YouTube video. Today we are off to the Royal Deeside Motor Show held at the Concordian O'Neill Castle in Aberdeenshire and we're going to have a look around to see what's on display. So let's jump in Morris the MG3 and head off. See you there. Starting off with the Ferrari stand we have a 1987 328 GTS 3.2 litre V8. Next we have a 1994 348 GTS which was the successor to the 328 here we have a 599 GTO and then a 2020 812 super fast here is my favorite Ferrari of them all it is of course the 550 Maranello produced between 1996 and 2002 with this being an early 97 model the 550 was a front-engined Grand Tourer with a 5.5 litre Tipo V12 engine. I think it's a stunning looking car and I really like the silver. It's a bit different to the red or yellow that you normally see. A legend in its own right, we have a 1993 or 4 Toyota Supra A80 fitted with a 3 litre inline 6 engine. Now something a little different, we have a 2003 Ford Crown Victoria 4.6, this is an ex-US police car, now owned by an entertainment firm. I've seen this example on the roads recently quite a lot, but it's good to finally see it up close and have a good walk around. It's in lovely condition throughout and very well presented. nineteen sixteen Ford Model T. This is the oldest car I've ever seen. Nineteen twenty seven Austin seven Chummy seven four seven CC nineteen thirty two Austin Arrow Uniform Sierra eight six five is a nineteen thirty three Woolsley twenty one sixty with a three litre six cylinder overhead cam engine. And this car has had the same owner since 1984. This is in stunning condition throughout with the light blue paintwork, the light up Wolseley badge, the large headlights and the gloss black wheel arches and roof. It's a really nice colour combination. We have beautiful wire wheels with the chrome centre caps and the spare wheel is mounted on the rear. Again, this car is in absolutely fantastic condition and you really would not believe that it is 88 years old. Moving on to Stuttgart's finest, we have a selection of Porsches. Starting us off here with a silver 2005 Boxster S 3.2 litre in lovely condition. Next to it, we have a 2012 911 Carrera S 3.8. Going a little bit old school now, we have an F Reg 95S Series 4 automatic and then a 1993 968 Club Sport. Now we're moving on to the Jaguar Owners Club of Scotland who have a few cars on display. Starting off with this F Type 5 litre V8, an XKR. X100 generation from 2001 with a 4.0 litre V8 supercharged engine. We have an NREG Sovereign XJ40 long wheelbase. A 1998 XJR automatic. An XK 4.2. Moving over to our 1999 XKR 4 litre cabriolet. And then bang up to date, 2021 F-Pace R Dynamic 2 litre diesel. And then all the way from 1961, we have an XK150. Yeah. 
continuing with the British theme, we have a 1986 Lotus XL. Just over 2,000 of these were produced in Norfolk between 1982 and 92, and it featured a 2.2-litre inline four-cylinder Nazi-aspirated petrol engine, producing 160 brake horsepower to the rear wheels. Being the MG fan I am, I was delighted to see this 74 registration BGT 1.8 B series engine in this lovely red paintwork and was presented to an immaculate standard. Another British icon here in the form of this 2001 Rover Mini Cooper 1275cc. This example was registered in November 2001 and production ended in October 2000. So this is a very, very late production example. Now this is something I've not seen before. It's a mid-1960s Chrysler New Yorker 7th generation and it's being displayed here by Diamond Wedding Cars. This early example of the 7th generation features a 6.8 litre V8 engine and the New Yorker was the longest running nameplate in the US for a car as it was in production from 1940 to 1996. Also on show from Diamond today we have this 1970 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow finished in this immaculate white and is in fantastic condition throughout. Here's something you don't see very often. It's a 1973 Reliant Scimitar GTE Overdrive fitted with a 3 litre Ford Essex V6 engine with around 380 of these examples left on the road and Princess Anne had one of these, you know, gifted to her by the Duke of Edinburgh. Another survivor is this 1981 Triumph TR7, again immaculately presented. Being a 1981 car, this is at the very end of production, so it was produced at the Sully Hall plant near Birmingham and Lucy Ewing from Dallas, the TV show, drove one of these. Next we have some more MG content from the Aberdeen MG Owners Club, starting off with a lovely blue 1977 Midget 1500, 67B GT, year 2000 F1.8 in a stunning Sienna Gold, 1967 B GT and a 1971 B1.8 showing the Owners Club flag. Rounding off the display for the Aberdeen MG's Owner Club, we have the stunning 2002 TF 1.6 115 in the stunning British Racing green colour with matching soft top roof, Porsche 944 with matching number plate for the model, 1989 on an F-Reg Ford Escort XR3 1.6 injection, 1969 MGC 2.9 C-Series inline 6 cylinder engine producing 145 brake horsepower from its twin carburetors. 1980 Austin Morris Mini 95L pickup. 1948 Rolls Royce. 2006 Morgan 44 with the 1.8 litre Ford ZTEC engine and another Morgan 44 but this time all the way from 1939. Another true survivor here is this gorgeous 1977 Cortina Mark 4 2 litre GL automatic finished in this lovely baby blue colour with the chrome alloy wheels and the black vinyl roof. It's very 70s, stands out a lot and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And next to it we have another outstanding survivor, this D-Reg Volkswagen Golf GTI Cabriolet. Another oddity that I'm obsessed with is this 2004 facelift MG ZT CDTI. 
This has BMW's N47 turbo diesel engine producing 135 brake horsepower. Moving across the continent to the Lancia stand, we have this gorgeous Fulvia Coupe Rally with two Fulvias next to it and then a pair of Deltas, one white, one blue and then fairly up to date we have a Chrysler Delta 1.6 which was badged as a Lancia on the continent. We also have some TVRs on display at the show today, starting off with this year 2000 Tuscan 4 litre and then a trio of Chimeras, all with the 4 litre V8 engine in various different bright colour shades and this blue one even has a matching number plate to go with the car. And then on the end we have this 1995 Brutens 5 litre. I couldn't help but notice this adorable little JDM import. It's a 1998 Suzuki Alto with a teeny tiny 658cc engine and it was imported into the UK in 2019. Alfa Romeo is one of my favourite car manufacturers so I was delighted to see this 1973 Berlina 2000, which is one of five registered in the UK, finished in a stunning Cava beige paintwork. Again, it's a very 70s colour, it suits the car very much. I think this car is absolutely gorgeous with the big four quad round headlamps and the chrome bumpers. Next to it, we have a 1999 Spider Liso 2 litre twin spark with an absolutely immaculate engine bay. Moving more up to date, we have a Julia V6 Bi Turbo with an absolute machine this is. Presented here is my friend's Paul 2003 GTV Twin Spark Lusso. The GTV was in production between 1993 and 2004, designed by Pininfarina, and won the 1995 World's Most Beautiful Car Award. I think it's definitely deserving of this award. And next to it we have the GTV's replacement, Brera, this one being the 3.2 litre V6 example with the quad exhaust pipes. Again, I think this car is a stunning looking car and has a rear end like no other. 1980 Alfetta GTV 2000L. Hopping across the pond now we have this 1997 Chevrolet Camaro fourth generation. These were produced between 1993 and 2002 in Quebec and this particular example features a 5.7 litre V8 engine producing 284 brake horsepower. Next to the Camaro we have another low mileage super survivor, this time a 1998 Ford Puma 1.7 16 valve finished in this lovely dark blue metallic paintwork and we even have the original bill of sale displayed on the windscreen which is a fantastic piece of history. This vehicle has only done less than 20,000 miles in its lifespan and you can tell that it has been looked after and maintained to the highest standards. The bodywork is absolutely pristine along with the wheels there's not a single mark on it. So a big credit to the owner for keeping it this way. Amongst the Ford stand I find this stunning 1980 Mark II Escort RS 2000. This is a very late example car as Mark III production began in the same year. And next to it we have this P-Reg, so 1976 Escort Mexico. So thanks for watching this Macklin Motors walk around of the Royal D-Side Motor Show 2021. I went on the Sunday, however the event was held on Saturday as well. So if there was a car there that you saw and I didn't, then that's probably the reason why. 
and I never got to film everything because it was so jam-packed. But I hope you enjoyed what I could show you and I'll see you next time for the 200 subscriber Macklin Motor Special featuring a very special Beamer. Thanks for watching and take care. If you've enjoyed this walk around video please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more content coming soon. Thanks for watching this video and see you later.